This is a nice demonstration of electromagnetic induction with a single wire moving in a magnetic field. The magnetic field lines come out of the North Pole, across the gap, and into the South Pole of the magnet. Here's my single wire, which is connected to a sensitive voltmeter. So when I move the wire through the magnetic field, you can see there is a nice induced voltage as indicated on the voltmeter. You can see that when I move the wire down through the magnetic field, we get an induced voltage in one direction, and when we go up through the magnetic field, the induced voltage is in the other direction, like so. It's the relative movement between the wire and the magnetic field which is important. So it doesn't matter if I keep the magnetic field stationary and move the wire, or if I keep the wire stationary and move the magnetic field. What is important is that magnetic field lines are being cut by the wire. The equation which describes this effect is big V is equal to B little v L, where big V is the induced voltage, B is the magnetic field strength, little v is the speed of the wire at right angles to the field, and L is the length of the wire in the field. So the equation tells us how we can increase the induced voltage. We can either increase the magnetic field strength, that's not too easy with my horseshoe magnet, or we can increase the speed of the wire at right angles to the field, like so. So here's slow speed. And here's a faster speed. The final way of increasing the induced voltage is to increase the length of the wire in the magnetic field. And I can do this by making a loop. So now I've increased L by a factor of two, and I should have twice the induced voltage. We don't have to stop there. We can keep going and add more loops of wire increasing L each time we do that, and eventually we'll end up with a coil of wire which has hundreds of loops, and so we increase L by a factor of 100. <laughs>